Amen. I'll just ask those who are sitting to please rise up on their feet. Tunata kumabudu buwana kumpea sifa za mioyo yetu. Kwa hivyo kwa umeketi tafadhali simama. Tumabudu buwana na tumpe sifa. Hallelujah. It is a good day. It is a good thing to praise the Lord. And we are in his presence. We are in his courts. So tu papali, pahali popote ulipo na hata nyi mwenye mko hapa ndani. Inua tu mikono yako kwa buwana. Kwa mungu wetu, kwa baba yetu. Mpetu shukurani, mpetu sifa. Give him the fruit of your lips. Just tell him thank you. Just praise him for his goodness and his faithfulness. Thank him for his goodness, for his greatness. Lord, we thank you for you are good. We thank you for you are faithful. We praise you, Lord, and we lift your name for you are great. There is no one else like you, O oh Lord. Receive the glory, receive the honor, receive the praise. Thank you, Lord, even for your grace. Thank you, Lord, even for your mercies, Lord, which are new every morning. It is, it is because of your mercy, Lord, that we are here. It is because of your mercy, because we are not consumed. Fungwa tu kinyo achako mshukuru buwana. Fungwa tu kinyo achako mpe sifa. Kwa maneno yako tu mwambie tu ni asante. Kwa wema wake, kwa fadhili zake. Amekua muema na atazidi kuwa muema. Ye ni baba muema, ye ni mfalme muema. Baba tunasema ni asante kwa wema wako na fadhili zako. Tunakupa sifa zote, tunakupa shukrani. Tunasema ni wewe tu wastahili. Tunasema ni wewe tu unatosha. Tunasema tu ni wewe. Ni wewe tu unastahili sifa za mioyo yetu. Ni wewe tu unastahili shukrani zetu. Maana umekuwa mwema kwetu. Umekuwa Mungu wetu. Umetuponya magonjwa yetu. Umetupiga nia. Umekutana na mahitaji yetu. Umetupa siku nyingine tuone siku nyingine ili tukuabudu na tukupe sifa na tunasema ni asante asante bwana wa mabwana asante simba wa yuda pokea sifa pokea utukufu asante 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 lord we just say thank you we just say thank you for you have commanded us in your word to give thanks at all times for you have said in your word that it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. For you deserve, Lord, all the thanksgiving. You deserve all the praise. For you are God and you are God alone. You who sits upon the throne. You who is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You who is Jehovah, the great and mighty God. You who is Elohim, the one true God. You who is the mighty man of fight our battles receive all the praise receive all the adoration lord we say that you are worthy we say that you are holy you are worthy of all the praise you are worthy of all the glory and the honor there is no one else like you there is no one else like you oh god receive all the praise receive all the praise receive all the praise Sifa na umabudu Mana anastahili Yeye tu anastahili Yeye tu anastahili Lord only you are worthy Only you are worthy Lord Only you are worthy Only you deserve the praise Only you deserve the glory and the honor Lord may I praise Lord Come as incense, Lord, unto your throne. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is, it is an honor and a privilege to worship you and to praise you. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, the maker and the creator of the heavens and the earth. Receive all the praise, Lord. Receive all the praise, receive all the praise, Lord. We love you this You are good, you are good, and your mercies endure forever. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Great is 
your faithfulness, King of kings and Lord of lords. Receive all the praise, Lord. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. Great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised. Great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised. Great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised. Receive all the praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. You are Jehovah. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. I just want us to declare that He is Jehovah. That He is the mighty God. That He is Elohim, the one true God. None can compare to Him. That He is the mighty man of war. The God that has never lost a battle. That is the great deliverer. That is the consuming fire. Lord, we worship you this day. Just open your mouth and worship him. He's worthy to be worshipped. He who sits upon the throne. Lord, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. Raise your voice and worship him in this place. Raise your voice and worship him in this place. He's worthy, worthy, worthy. He's worthy, worthy, worthy. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me submit to you, Jesus. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah, mighty God, Elohim, you're the mighty man of all, you are Jehovah, You are Jehovah 
God who fights our battles and you have never lost and you will never lose. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are the consuming fire. You are El Shaddai. There is no one else like you. None is your evil. You are the God who does great and mighty things. You are the God who does the impossible. You are the God that is not moved or shaken. You are the unchangeable God. You are the unmovable God. You are the unshakable God. You are the unchangeable God. There is no one else like you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Just lift your voice to the one true God. You are the great deliverer. You're the God who makes a way in the wilderness. You're the God who passed the Red Sea. You're the God who makes rivers in the desert place. You feed the birds of the air, Lord. How much more us, oh God? How much more us, your, your children? Thank you for loving us. Thank you for fighting our battles. You are Jehovah, the great and mighty God. You are the I am that I am. None is your evil. None can contend against you, O oh God. You are the mighty man of all. You are the God who fights for us. You are the God who wins every battle. You are the God who gives us victory on every you're the God that gives us victory and we worship your God we worship your King the creator of the heavens and the earth the King of kings and the Lord of lords the Lion of the tribe of Judah there is no one else like you Lord you are holy You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Great are you, Lord. There is no other God but you. We worship you, Lord. You are the one true God. You are the one true God. And we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. How we love you, Lord. all the glory he deserves all the honor he deserves all the praise for he is God and he is God alone he is on his throne and he is God alone he's the one who is worthy of all the praise he's the one who is worthy of all the glory he's the one who is worthy of all the honor He's the one who is worthy to receive all the praise. He is Yahweh, God Almighty. Lord, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. He deserves all the worship. Lord, we worship you. Great deliverer, thank you, Lord Jesus. Consuming fire, we lift you high, we glorify your 
King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is Yahweh, the mighty man of war. He's the God who can do that which no man can do. He's the God that can do the impossible. So that which seems hard to you is not hard to God. So I just want you to take a minute in his presence, in the presence of the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and just commit whatever you think is hard to you to him. He's the God who can do the impossible. He asks, is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything I cannot do? He's the God of all flesh. There is nothing that is too hard for him. So right now, just take a minute and just commit whatever it is that you think is too hard in your own eyes to him. To the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is nothing that is too hard for him. There is nothing that is too impossible for him. He's the God that raises the dead. He's the God who opens the blind eyes. He's the God that opens doors that no man can shut. He's the God that shuts doors that no man can open. He's the God who does exceedingly abundantly above all that we might ask or think. So right now in his presence, just commit it and surrender it to him. He loves us. He cares for us. He wants to carry our burdens. He wants to carry our loads. He wants to take care of us. He is concerned with every area of our lives. Lord, we thank you for your great love towards us. Thank you, Lord, that there is nothing that is too hard for you. Lord, come and do what it is that only you can do in our lives, Lord. In our families, Lord. In this nation, oh God. In this church, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because you can do anything. Because you can do anything. Come and do what only you can do.
Pate bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Amen. Ningependa kuwakaribisha mara nyingine kwa ibada yetu kutoka hapa Christian Bible Church to many television mjini Nakuru katika kaunti yetu ya Nakuru katika nchi ya Kenya. Tunamshukuru bwana kwa siku ya leo kwa sababu ya kutupatia nafasi kuja kwa nyumba yake. Daudi alisema nilifurahi waliponiambia twende katika nyumba ya Mungu. Na pia akasema hii ndio siku Bwana ameitengeneza. Wakati unaelewa hivyo inakuwa rahisi kumwabudu. Lakini wakati uelewi inakuwa ngumu hata kuishi. Lakini leo ningependa nikufundishe kutoka kwa kitabu cha mambo ya nyakati ya pili 32. Second Chronicles chapter 32. Kwa hivyo na wakaribisha nyote hapa na manyumbani na popote pale unatutazama sikiliza neno kuwa na ibada pamoja nasi na naamini Mungu atakubariki Na ujumbe wangu unasema hivi Mungu akukuita upigane vita vyote 
Mungu hakukuita upigane vita vyote. God didn't call you to fight every battle. Mambo ya nyakati ya pili 32 verse 7 and 8. Tuanzie kwanza. Baada ya mambo yote hayo ya uaminifu ya mfalme Ezekia. Mfalme Senakeribu wa ushuru, ushuru maana yake ni Syria. Alivamia Juda. Alikuja kapiga makambi yenye kwenye miji yenye ngome akitumaini kwamba ataishinda kwa iwe mali yake. Falme mstari wa pili. Na mfalme Ezekia alipoona kwamba mfalme Senakeribu amekuja kukusudi na kuishambulia Jerusalem. Aliamua pamoja na maofisa wao wakuu wa majeshi kufunga maji ya chemchemi zilikuwa nje ya miji na wakamuunga mkono wakamsaidia. Mstari wa saba, wa sita. Alipoweka watu wote mjini chini ya makamanda kisha kawamuru awakusanyike uwanjani penye lango la mji. Hapo akabatia moyo akisema, sema akabatia moyo. Sema akabatia moyo. Kilecho muhimu wakati kama huu wa ndugu na badada ni kutiwa moyo. Kutiwa moyo. Mana changamoto ni nyingi, shida ni nyingi, mahitaji ni mengi, yale mambo yanasukuma watu kushoto na kulia, alesu uko binguni, ni mambo mengi. Kwa hivyo katika vita vya maisha, ningependa siku ya leo ni kutia moyo. Kama vile mfalme Zekaya, wile maandike nasema kwamba alimpendeza mungu. Alikuwa na mcha mungu. Alipovamiwa na mfalme huyu wa shamu. Sena keribu. Maandike nasema aliita watu wake wakakusanyika. Na ndiyo sababu ni vizuri kuwa pamoja. Wezi kujitia moyo peke yako. Wezi kujikuamua kutoka kwa matatizo na shida peke yako. Na ndiyo sababu siku hizi tuna magonjwa yanayoitwa ma stress. Tuna magonjwa yanayoitwa ma depression. Ni wala watu hatai kukaa chini watue moyo wazungumuziwe na wengine. Ni wala watu wajiku kudhamini wengine ama ushirika. Unajifungia ndani ya nyumba unakuwa so depressed. Na mwisho wake kile unafanya matokeo ni aibu tena matokeo ni majanga. Na ndiyo sababu fellowship is very important wherever you are. Look for a church and a very good pastor who can be able to charge you up. Who can be able to encourage you when you are downstairs. Who can tell you something which can lift you up and make you continue with the life. Bila kujali matatizo na shida. This is what Ezekiah did. Akaita watu wote katika malango. Na maandike na sema akabatia moyo. Sema akabatia moyo. Moyo aliwatia akisema nini? Maandike na sema, akisema hivi. Muwe hodari. Anasema mungu, muwe hodari na imara. Muwe hodari na imara. Manaike ni kusema sasa kuna shida. Manaike ni kusema sasa tumevamiwa. Manaike ni kusema sasa adui ndio huyo. Na vile adui anaonekana ni mkubwa kushinda sisi. Anawambia mambo sio vile mnafikiria, lakini nataka ni wambia ukweli nabatia moyo kuwa mosujaa na kuwa hodari in life you have to stand on your two feet and declare victory in life wandugu na badada sikiliza ezekiah anawaambia be strong and be of good courage kuwa imara tena kuwa hodari na ndio sawa paulo aliambia wa efeso be strong be strong in the lord and in the power of his mighty inafika in life unakumbana na hali inafika in life unakumbana na changamoto Inakuja in life unakumbana na maradhi na magonjwa inafika in life unakumbana na kuzimu yenyebe kile unahitaji be strong and be of good courage Amen. and i want to say you are not alone Amen. i want to encourage you in a way that uone milima yako inaweza kungoka uone hata kile kinakuja njia yako utapita juu na kuna vita Mungu aweze kukupigania na ile unaona ni ngumu mwachie bwana Ilo naona ni ngumu wachia Ile ingino anaza kubambana na yo kidogo kidogo kimbizana na yo Lakini ile kubwa Ilo nasema iwezekani kwa kama ezekaya 
Hapa nasema kwa hodari na jambo la pili nasema mwe imara. Baadaye nawaambia msiogope wala msifadhaike mbele ya mfalme wa haushuru au majeshi yake maana tulie naye ni mkuu kuliko aliye naye sena kerabu. Na ningependa kusema haya ndio maneno ya imani. Haya ndio maneno ya ushindi. Haya ndio maneno mbele ya maadui, mbele ya kuzimu, mbele ya matatizo. Mfalme anabazumuzia watoto wa Mungu hawa wa waona wa, wa, wa Israeli. Na maandike nasema kwamba msiwaogope ama msiogope. Maana yule aliye na nyinyi ni mkubwa kuliko yule aliye upande wa adui. Katika maisha kila unahitaji ni Mungu. Nasema katika maisha na vita vya maisha yule aliye specialist, mtaalamu, anaweza mambo yote, anaweza kukukwamua ni Mungu mwenyewe. Anajua vile aliumba mwili wako, anajua vile aliumba dunia, alijua kila aliweka ndani huko chini na hapa juu, alijua vile aliumba bingu na nchi, yeye ndio mtaalamu. Na ningependa kusema kithi, when you have God, you have all that you need. Na ningependa kusema ukiwa na Mungu una zaidi ya vile unahitaji. Na ndio sababu katika imani ya Kikristo tunaamini Mungu wetu anaweza. Si tunaamini kwamba wakati mambo yamesindikana tuna yule wa kukimbilia. Tuna yule tunajua anaweza mambo yote na anajua kutupigania the best he can. Kwa hivyo kile unahitaji katika changamoto zako, katika masaibu yako, katika boma yako na katika vita vyako vya kila siku because life is a battle. Pengine una changamoto right now. Pengine kuna mambo na kusukuma mpaka imekuweka kona. Pengine kuna mambo imekuweka chini na imekukanyaga na hali na kuambia utaamuka. Ningependa kukuambia leo kwa imara, kwa hodari usiogope Mungu atakupigania. Sio vita vyote unajipigania, vile uwezi waachia Mungu. Sema waachia Mungu. Na ndio sababu hapa mfalme Ezekiel anasemaje? With us is the Lord. With us is the Lord. Na sisi ni Mungu. Yaani upande wetu ni Mungu. I mean to say this when you have such a big God how can you be afraid When you are such a big God how can you fear the enemy it doesn't matter how great and how big your enemy is God is greater than your enemies With us is the Lord our God And I want to assure you hapa Ezekiel anasema atatusaidia ana atatupigania vita vyetu Unaona huyu ni mtu alikuwa na imani mbele ya matatizo mbele ya majanga mbele ya vita it is good to confess your faith in the midst of problems it is good to confess your faith before you adjust the problems and anything fighting against you hapa nasema we know god is for us mungu wetu uko pande wetu pia nasema atatusaidia you know what you believe and say will come to pass kilo naamini na kusema kitakuwa chako Na ndio sababu mtu wa Mungu Ezekaya hakunyamaza, hakulia, hakusema adui ndio hao, sina karibu ndio huyo, anakuja kuchukua nchi yetu, anakuja kuchukua mali yetu, tufanye nini? Alisimama salida, akasema listen very careful, our Lord God Almighty is with us and is going to help us. And I want to assure you, yule unayemtaja utamuona. Akasema na Mungu atatusaidia and to fight our battles and that's why I'm saying today God will fight your battles. Amen. I mean to say raise up your hands and say thank you Jesus. Amen. I mean life is a battle my friend if you don't know watoto pengine hamuwezi kueleva vita ni nini. Uliza wale watu wamepitia mambo mazito watakuambia life is a battle. Utoa kuzaliwa mpaka mwisho maisha ni vita changamoto mara ni hii hii kitoka mara ni hii hii kitoka mara ni hii lakini the consolation is this god is the same yesterday is the same today and is forever and if you make the lord your god he will help you and fight your battles na ndio sababu siku ya leo ningependa waachie vita vyako mungu especially ile mekushinda especially ile umeenda kwa wachawi umeenda kwa waganga umeenda kwa mafilosofia umeenda kwa watu wanasema hiyo ni ngumu waachia Mungu God knows how to fight your battles and I want to say God will help you in Jesus name Amen. sema amina
Kile naona hapa Ezekiah alikuwa na macho ya imani. He had the eyes of faith. Na ndio sababu in life you must have the eyes of faith. Yaani uone tofauti kuliko vile wengine wanaona. Unaona wengine hawakuona vile Ezekiah anaona. Mimi naona Ezekiah aliona na macho ya imani. Na unajua maandiko yanasema for without faith we cannot please God. And that is why Ezekiah's faith pleased with God. And I pray today may your faith please God. Hakuna kita utakula, hakuna mavazi utavaa, hakuna nyumba utajenga, you will go as far as your faith can take you. And I want to say your faith is your victory. Ezekiah had the eyes of faith. I have prayed for you. May God give you the eyes of faith. Wacha kuangalia adui, wacha kuangalia maradhi, wacha kuangalia kila una, angalia yule aliye mkubwa anaitwa Jehovah. Maandiko nasema greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. The enemy might be there, but you are carrying the big one of Israel. Unabeba yule aliumba bingu na inchi, unabeba yule anaweza mambo yote, unabeba yule anajua kupigana vita tena vizuri na hakuna vita Mungu wetu ameshindwa. Hata shindwa na wewe. Na itakuwa wa wewe wa kwanza kushindwa na yeye wewe. Nakwambia leo ushindi utapata. Nakwambia utapata ushindi. Kama utamwachia vita vyako, he will fight for you. Ezekiah could see with the eyes of faith. And the Bible says, we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. Moses saw that God was invisible. That is faith. Paul akasema, I want to know him. That is faith. Na sio kusema wako na shida, na sio kusema wako na masaibu, lakini waliona beyond the problem, waliona beyond the challenges, waliona beyond the enemy. They saw the great Jehovah, the sustain of the universe, and I'm here to tell you, the one you believe in will come and help you. If it is the God of heaven. Ukiangalia hapa adui walikuwa wengi. Lakini Mungu akiwa upande wao, that meant nothing. Ni kweli kabisa adui wamekuja tena wanaonekana wengi lakini ukiangalia vizuri kwa Ezekiah Mungu akiwa upande wao that meant nothing. Na wewe Mungu akiwa upande wako nani anaweza kuwa kinyume chako? Hata maadui waje kama garika. Daudi akasema kupita kwa Mungu wangu nitapita katikati ya jeshi. Kupita kwa Mungu wangu nitaruka ukuta. Jua Mungu wako vizuri sana na mema yatakujia vile Ayubu alisema. Jua Mungu wako sana kama Daniel alisema na utakuwa hodari na utafanya maajabu. Sio binguni ni hapa tena sasa. If you believe in your God, you are going to do exploits. You are going to be strong. Job said, "Know the Lord so well na mema itakujia." Tunazumuza yule anaweza mambo yote. Tunazumuza yule aliyekuumba mimi na wewe kwa mfano wake. Tunazumuza juu ya yule ameumba jua na ijawahi kuzima hata siku moja na ijawahi kununuliwa mafuta imwagibe ili wake. Yaani Mungu ametupatia kila kitu na ndio sababu nataka nikwambie leo regardless of what you are going through and the opponents you have, the challenges you are going through, let your faith be in God. God is going to see you through in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. The number of his opponents meant nothing as long as he was on the side on the side of the Lord. Ukiwa upande wa Bwana Yesu, hata madui waje watanguka mbele yako. Mungu akiwa upande wako, and I want to assure you, victory is sure. Blessings are sure. Anything you need under the sun, God will give it to you. Muradi tu mfanye Bwana wa upande wako. Mfanye kama vile Daudi alisema hata ningitembea katika bonde la uvuli wa mauti sitaogopa jambo lolote sababu ni moja maana yeye yuko pamoja nami in other words una sababu ya kuogopa lakini kwa sababu una Kristo na Mungu wa mbinguni hauna sababu ya kuogopa kwa sababu maandiko yanasema yeye yuko pamoja na we na yule aliye ndani yako ni mkubwa kuliko yule aliye nje patie bwana makofi mazuri That's why I've come to tell you, God is bigger than your problems. I say God is bigger than your disease. I am saying God is bigger than your curses. I am saying God is bigger than your challenges. I say we have a big, big God. It's bigger than all your problems. And I want to say today, may God become your solution. May God become your answer. 
May God become your deliverer. May God become your healer. May God become your miracle worker. May God become everything you want in your life. And I want to assure you, God is there to help you. Mpatia na fasi umuone. Mpatia na fasi atokea. Na akitokea ni kabila ya simba ya juda. Na akitokea adui wa nahama. Na akitokea maradi ya nam. Chochote kile kina kusumbua, kitakuja chini ya migu yako. And I want to say, God is bigger than your problems. Bigger than anything you are facing right now. Remember faith is in the word. Yaani Mungu ni mkubwa kuliko kile unakumbana nacho sasa. Hata ime kuzimu itahama. Hata ime ni kansa itapona. Hata ime ni malana itahama. Katika jina la Yesu. Jesus never died in vain. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for you. His death was not in vain. Look to Calvary and be saved. Look to Calvary and be healed. Look to Calvary and be delivered. Jesus is the name. I say Jesus is the name which is above every name. Jesus is the name to give you a miracle. Not tomorrow, today. If you believe all things are possible. Kama vile zekaya liambia watoto wa mungu. Be strong. Na amina wambia children of God. Be strong. Regardless of what you are going through, be strong. Challenges that are there, be strong. The devil is pushing you left and right, be strong. The enemy is coming like a flood, be strong. Kodari mze. Apana, apana, tapta shortcut. Watakatifu, kuwa odari. Sema mimi ni champion yu wa Yesu. Tokia kama Daud unasema, mungu wetu anaweza. Tokia kama Daud ikimambia Goliathi, today God will give you into my hands. Kichwa nitakata. Hallelujah. You get what you say. <laughs> Umenyamaza sana no wando meonewa. Unaitisha maombi left and right. Nika mojui kujiombea. In a thickened life, you have to stand on your two feet. It comes in life where you say, I'm going to be strong no matter what. I am going to be of good courage because God is on my side. And I want to assure you, we have the champion of champions. Amen. His name is who? Jesus. Can you shout his name? Jesus. Can you shout his name? Jesus. Ezekiah said, be strong and be of good courage. Then he said, don't be afraid. Apana ogopa. Wacha wasiwasi. Wacha kutetemeka. Hallelujah. Be strong. Panambia kila mtu shida zako. Hallelujah. Be strong. Apana tengeneza nyuso moja. Inaonyesha kwenu na pita guzimu. Be strong. Wacha kuogopa. Wacha kuwa na wasiwasi. Hapa ezekaya na wambia. With the God we are a majority. I say with the God we are a majority. I don't know how you see it. That's how I see it. Kamu muone mungu kama ndiyo mwingi kwa upande wako. Na kuambia you'll ever struggle in life. You'll ever cry in life. Hata yu manasema the president akushika. E kuambia ka hapa mpaka nige kuambia what is next. Tell the devil no way. I am a child of the king. I am a heir of God. And I'm a joint heir together with Jesus Christ. If God is on my side, who can be against me? Pick a satan and take it. So I have come simply to remind you. Umekua mudaifu. Lakini manike na sema let the weak say I am strong. Be courageous and remember fear is of the devil. Fear comes from Satan. Paula kambia Timotheo. Mungu wajatupatia roya hofu. Bali roya akili timamu. Roya upendo. Tena roya nguvu. Roya inakusimamisha hivi. Katikati ya majanga Roi na kusimamisha hivi Katikati ya milima Roi na kusimamisha hivi Hata kwa bonde Na unasema sita ogopa Na ningependa kusema usiogope Hauta zama usiogope Hauta kufa kabla wakati wako usiogope Hauta zoroteka usiogope Kile kimemaliza watu wengu ni fear Na hiyo ndiyo wachabi wanatumia na baganga na shetani We are not a part of that We have the Holy Spirit of power Amen. Patesu makufu mazuri. 
Na ndio sababu wakati wana waisraeli walikuwa natoka Misri wamefika bahari ya Shami unaona wasiwasi ndio hiyo kulia ndio hiyo hata Musa akaanza kulia pasta wa akaanza kulia Pastor Moses akaanza kulia maana washirika wanalia na pasta naye analia Baadaye Pastor Moses akaenda kwa Mungu kumwambia hao watu hawajui kuogelea hao watu wana mifugo hao watu hawajawahi kuvuka mito kama hii hao watu hawajawahi kubana na changamoto kama hizi nyuma faraa anakuja na jeshi lake anataka kuturudisha Misri na mbele kuna bari ya shame hawajui kuogelea upande huu kuna milima hawajui kupanda sasa wananililia wananiambia Musa mbona umetutoa Misri hakukuwa na makoburi hapo na mimi nasikia nimeshindwa kabisa sa kweli kabisa bana sababu ya kulia na Mungu akamuuliza Musa kwa nini unalilia nataka niwaambie wapendwa there are times to shut up your mouth don't cry but seek the lord i want to say kuna wakati wacha kulia kuongeza kwamba ni ukweli wacha kulia bahari ya shamu iko ni kweli wacha kulia Mungu akamwambia Musa una nini mkono ni mwako you have an answer and yet you are crying I say you have an answer mzee mambo najibu vijana mnajibu kanisa la CRC mnajibu but men of us are crying we don't have to cry we have the answer the word of god is the answer and the name of jesus is the answer nyosha imani yako mwambie mwenzako nyosha imani mama nyosha imani eh wacha kupigia mzee kelele nyosha imani mzee wacha kusema hii muziki imezidi nyosha imani hapana sema life has become unbearable straight for to your faith na sema nyosha imani unanyosha kwa kila kitu kuomba na kusali fanya mahitaji yako yajulikane kwa nani maandiki nasema kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali fanya mahitaji yako yajulikane kwa Mungu maana Mungu hayuko mbali na Mungu atakupatia mani ipitao fahamu wote italinde akili yako na moyo wako ndani ya Kristo Yesu nyosha fimbo nyosha imani nyosha maombi wewe <laughs> unanyosha nanga nini Mungu anamwambia Musa una nini mkono ni fimbo nyosha Musa katia kanyosha sasa nataka niwaambie sio sio fimbo ilipasua bari ya shami ni utiifu wa Musa. Amen. Wanata unaweza kuchukua fimbo wendo mahali unyoshe. It cannot work. Obedience is better than sacrifice. What made God part the Red Sea is the obedience of Moses. What made Abraham become the father of many nations is because he obeyed God. Lazima tufike bandugu na badada, tusiwe wakaidi. Tusiwe wakorofi. Maana anaweza kuwa mkaidi na mkorofi na huko church. Na huko church. Nasema na huko church. Na unabeba Biblia. Na unainua mikono juu. Lakini shida ikija husikii, huonyeki, hukemeki. Naelewa Kiswahili. Haukemeki. Kita kuongozwa na sema I know what I'm doing. You are going down. Mungu hawezi kubariki mtu asieti. Yesu alisema na iskeni wangu na kulitini tamfananisha kama mjenzi mwerevu. Walipotii maji kabalika kwa divai. Na wewe hujabadilika maana hujakuwa mtiifu. Kwa ushirika, kwa maombi, kwa kutoa, kwa nini? Ujakuwa yaani hujawahi kunyosha ili neno. You have never even trusted God even for something small. Ever complaining and ever murmuring. I'm here to remind you stop that. Nyosha fimbo. Nyosha imani yako. Ambia Mungu toka leo nitakutii na maana nyingine nasema mkikubali na kutii mtafanya nini? Hautapiga nguo viraka? Hautakalia viti vimetoboka here in here out? God will promote you. God will advance you. God will develop you. God will give you every good and perfect gift because you are in the light of his word. Akanyosha fimbo na bahari kapasuka. Na ningependa nikwambie leo wakati Musa alikufa Mungu alimwambia Joshua chukua watoto wangu wavukishe Jordan waingize katika nchi ya hadi and there is something God told Joshua be strong and be of good courage why is God speaking to us be strong and be of good courage that means kuna wengine waoga we shida kidogo unabadilika we shida kidogo ni heri wale wamekufa kuliko wale kwa hai shida kidogo mtamba na kuru niende Mombasa shida kidogo Sioni mali tunaelekea 
hautaona <laughs> maana umeamini uoni na hautaona umeamini kwamba shida zimezidi sasa ni heri wale wamekufa kuliko wako hai ulijuaje wako saba huko sasa wewe nyosha imani yako leo nimekuja kukuambia be strong and be of good courage god is going to help you God is going to fight your battles. You are going to come out of that cave. You are going to come out of that valley. And God is bringing you out to the top place. God is going to open a door for you. Jesus is the door. And he knows how to open the doors. Jesus has the keys of hell and death. If you dare to believe today, all things are possible. If you dare to believe today, things are going to happen. If you dare to believe today, God will do the impossible. With God on your side, you are a majority. Amen. You are capable to handle any situation. I say you are capable. Mtu askudanganye, kwambo ni weakling, kwenu ni bure, kwenu ni nini, it's not about kwenu, it's your faith in God. Amen. We were there, but we believed in this. We were there, we looked at the cross, and we saw what Jesus did for me, which nobody could have done for me. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the cross. I will ever, ever embrace the cross. I will ever preach Jesus. I will ever say Jesus, your Lord. I will ever do that. Mungu akamwambia Joshua, be strong and be of good courage. Mungu akamwambia Musa, Joshua, cross over this Jordan. Na ilikuwa imefurika. Na akamu instruct. Na ndio sababu nataka nikwambie leo. Vita vikubwa waachia Mungu. Na wakati unashindi wao to do consult him. Na kweli kabisa ukiangalia Musa alimuuliza Mungu, Mungu akamwambia njia ni fimbo. Sasa kwa Joshua njia ni kubeba sanduku la gano, makuani wa bebe, wakanyaga ndani ya maji, nje itatengenezeka. Learn to listen to the voice of God. The way God moved yesterday is not the way it's going to move today. Wewe unamweka Mungu kona. Ati vile alifanya jana na fimbo, fimbo waachana nayo. Sasa ni instructions unakupatia na ineno. Otherwise, hawendi mbali bila instructions za Biblia. That's why Paul told Timothy, the word of God is good for instructions. When you miss kuongozo na kupatua mwelekea, hautaweza. To maintain anything in life, you need instructions. To maintain your body and your health, you need instructions. To maintain your family and your business, you need instructions. Mutu wa sikima instructions, haendi mbali. Hata kilo na jonga kitabu moka. And yo sababu you need to be in a place where you are well instructed in the ways of God. So that you maintain your ability to perform. Otherwise, utafika maali we non-starter. I'm a non-performer. You started well. What happened? Hebrews 13, 6 in Asemaje. So that we may boldly say. Ili tupate kuongea na ujasiri. The Lord is my helper. Unaona Mungu hataki watu wanavuguvugu? Mungu hataki watu wanaongea leo hivi kesho wanaruka upande huu? Wako chameleon? No. Mungu anasema simama imara kuwa mujasiri nitakusaidia. Sio leo Mungu atanisaidia. Sijui kesho nani atanisaidia. Kesho kutwa nitahama. Kesho kutwa nitaenda wapenda simama imara and see the salvation of Lord. Wherever you are, whatever you are going through, God is capable to help you. I say God is capable to help me. Can we say amen? As long as your faith is in God, God will help you. Hata uwe peke yako, with God you are a majority. That's what I've come to discover. People come and go, but God is everlasting. It's the same yesterday, today and forever. Hapa manigina sema, so that we may boldly say what? The Lord is my helper, I will not do what? Fear. What man shall do unto me? Not even the devil, man. <laughs> yani come to a place where you are carefree. Come to a place where you know God is able. Come to a place where you know God will help you. God will fight for you. It doesn't matter who is trying to threaten you. Their threatenings is null and void. God will fight your battles. God will help you. Say my amen. Ini mandiko. We unangoja nana kusaidia katika masaibu mazito. Andiyo sababu jifunze kuwa mujasiri. Na maandike nasema mujasiri ni kama nini? Sio kama paka. 
sio kama panya mujasiri ni kama simba wape simba hapa zina nguruma <laughs> unajua simba ina nguruma aseme <laughs> Simba ikitokea katikati ya wanyama, wanyama wanajua hapa mkubwa amekuja. Na wewe ukiwa na Yesu ndani yako wewe ni simba. Una simba, umebarikiwa na utastawi katika jina la Yesu. Na naamini na sumuzia watoto wa simba. Wanasema mtoto wa simba ni nini? Yes. Kwa hodari mama, kwa hodari mzee, vijana wa Yesu kwa hodari Jazo Roma takatifu stand on your position and declare who you are boldly say i will not fear what man shall do unto me and i want to assure you with the god you are more than a conqueror Amen. Zachariah anasema not by might or power is by the spirit of god when the enemy comes in like a flood the holy ghost raises up your standard and may the holy spirit raise up your family standard Jamii yako kiwango iende juu Biashara kiwango iende juu. Maisha yako kiango yani may God raise up your standard. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I usually say the cross is the standard. Listen to me, the cross is the standard. Msalaba ilikuja ku raise standard yetu. Na wanda yote aliyechukua msalaba wa Yesu akamfuata angalia tabia zake angalia mavazi yake angalia maeneo yake kama ameona kuolewa angalia boma kuna standard msalaba imeweka and may the cross raise up the standard of your family and of your children when problems come angalia calvary na kufundisha ina way uache kuangaika na kufundisha ina way usiwache usianze kutapatapa Angalia the cross is the standard of our lives. Hiyo ni na kufundisha lifestyle ya binguni. So here we are told that the spirit of God is there to raise up your standard. So if God is on your side, no matter the battles you face every day, they can't be won by your strength. They will be won by the strength of God in your life. We always faint but thank God for the Holy Spirit but thank God for the word of God but thank God for Jesus when you feel like going under with the Jesus you'll never go under you'll go over Amen. And Joseph Paul alisema if God is on my side who can be against us Say if God is on my side who can be what who who Sema who 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 yani chemuka kichwa <laughs> chemuka ndani ya roho hata wale wanakuambia wewe ni bure nani nani anasema mimi ni bure na unamwambia niangalie mimi who who mimi mimi nitoroke mimi mo ah, mi who 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 let me tell you something the devil fears people are courageous i say the devil fears people are courageous hata watu wanaogopa watu wana ujasiri hata kama una kitu lakini una sauti ya ujasiri watu wanashindwa pengine una siri hapana that is why in life angalia wanaume wengi na wanawake wamefaulu sio kwa sababu ya nini ni ujasiri kama jamaa kanatokea kanaongea ni kama ameshikilia dunia hivi na ana viatu <laughs> na watu wanasikizanga maneno sio wangali wanashindwa huyu anaongea na hii amepata hizi nguvu wapi amepata hii maneno mazito wapi ingawa nje anaonekana ni kaput finish <laughs> lakini maneno anaongea ni kama amepata msaada mahali na hakuna msaada umejifunza kuwa courageous in the lord yeah. hata dunia inataka watu courageous na tema hata dunia haitaji watu waoga Look at in the world. Wale watu wame succeed ni watu wako strong and courage na wako bold. That hata wakianguka mara ngapi watasimama. They will try until they succeed. Wewe you are a quitter so soon na wachilia. Not me. Tuliamua na reverend tutaendelea kuje nini miaka yote. Na ukituangalia si kusema tujapigwa, si kusema tujasukumwa na kuinuliwa juu na tuangwa chini kimaisha lakini tunafanya hivi tunasema glory to god of course kuna sababu kwa nini imefanyika bwana tusaidie tuendelee mbele na mungu anataka attitude kama hiyo si kusema sasa eh, niende kwetu kisi imeshindikana na wewe unajata niambia tuende kangundo 
Basi tutaenda. Kwa sababu tumeshindwa lakini tumesema tutashindwa. Na hii Biblia tutashindwa. Na Mungu wa mbinguni tutashindwa. Nasema tutashindwa. With God we have a majority. I say with God we are a majority. We have seen it and we are going to see it and we want you also to see it. Wacha ku try life. Wacha kujaribu maisha. Wacha kungoja watu wengine. Mungoje Bwana atakupatia nguvu mpya. Patie Bwana makofi mazuri. So here Paul is saying if God is on my side who can be against yani who yani andika yote hapo um disqualify yeyote ile anayekuja kinyume chako vile maandike nasema adui akija njia moja Mungu akikupigania wanatoroka njia na utabaona hata leo katika jina la Yesu what is fighting you as long as the Lord is on your side God is going to fight for you and your enemies are going to flee seven ways na usiwatafute maana seven ways is not easy wewe kaa katika njia za Bwana wewe kaa katika mafundisho mazuri wewe kaa katika ushirika mzuri wewe patua mwelekeo mzuri uwe mwanamke na mwanamume wa maana na, na jamii ya maana usifuate watu wameenda njia saba because you don't know which is right ni wanafuata tu ameenda wapi mwingine ameenda upande huu mwingine yaani utazunguka mpaka upate ile tunaitwa kizunguzungu <laughs> zamani kulikuwa na game tulikuwa nafanya hivi ati tunazunguka Mtu anazunguka watoto tunazunguka baadaye unaambia sasa simama hakuna mtu anasimama anaanguka chini maana umezungushwa naomba uzishungushwe na shetani naomba uzishungushwe na matatizo maana siku utaamua kusimama utapata ulipoteza nguvu zako kwa kuzunguka tulia ka chini ya mafundisho mazuri tulia abudu bwana katika roho mtakatifu na kweli the best is yet to come i mean you are the best for god and there is no another you full stop na ujiangalie kwa kio leo mara saba and you congratulate god not yourself maybe you might not like your face but thank god for your life na ndio sababu na kusi usimpoteze mungu katikati ya vita <laughs> usimpoteze mungu katikati ya vita Unajua Josephu na Maria walipoenda Jerusalem maandike nasema wakati wanatoka siku tatu walipoteza Yesu hawakujua walifikiria yuko ndani ya crowd baadaye walipoanza sasa kum... walipotaka kujua Yesu yuko wapi wakagundua yuko nataka nikwambie walikuwa wazazi werevu hawakusema we don't care for three days we can't go back kama kwa mfano leo ni Sunday urudi nyuma mpaka siku tatu atikutafuta kilo liwacha kama ni cha dhamana utaweka reverse gear kama umepotea njia ya kwenda na Romoru na ukapita ukaenda na Ivasha kama umepotea utasema i don't care utasema na Romoru i was coming there but now i am lost <laughs> you can say utaimba wimbo ya lost wengine mmepotea in life umepotea barabara umepotea kimafundisho umepotea kimawazo umepotea kima... na ukiambiwa umepotea sema anyway i've come too far to look back no wonder you are very lost hapa maandiki nasema James, John, Seth na Maria walirudi mpaka wakapate Yesu kwa hekalu. Akamwambia unajua tumekutafuta sana. Ndiye akawashauri akawaambia nilikuwa katika kazi ya baba yangu. Sasa twende. Maana alijifunza kuzie kutii wazazi wake wa duniani. So it is good to understand usipoteze Mungu katika vita vyako. Usipoteze Mungu katika changamoto zako. Don't lose God. Maandike nasema karibia Mungu naye Mungu atafanya nini? Atawakaribia. Draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. God cannot force himself in your life. It is you to make up your mind to draw nigh unto God and God is ready to draw nigh unto you. Wengine amutai ukaribia Mungu na mnaanza kulaumu Mungu, mnalaumu Yesu na amjawai kukaribia. Hata kanisa ukaribii, hata Biblia usome, hata magoti upige, hata mikono inue juu. How can you experience the presence of God when you are not drawing nigh to that presence? It is impossible. You cannot be affected by the presence of somebody who is very far from you. And I want to say again, you cannot be affected by somebody who is very far from you. The only way you can get affection ya kweli is drawing nigh unto God. 
God told Moses, Moses akamwambia Mungu, unless your presence go with us, usitotaya hapa. He understood and Jesus told his disciples, Lord, I am with you all the way. My presence shall be with you. That is what I need. That's what you need, the presence of God. Don't ever lose God in your battles. You will go under. Don't I say don't. Karibia Mungu na yeye atawakaribia. Mwanamke wa Samaria alikaribia Yesu alisaidika. Zakai alikaribia Yesu akasaidika. Wale watu wanasoma kwa Biblia when they were in contact with Jesus the presence of Jesus affected them. Even that woman was bleeding for 12 years, she has lost everything, all her riches. When she came to Jesus and drew nigh unto him, the blood issue stopped. Draw unto God and you'll be surprised what God can do for you. Kuna mahali Mungu atakuhamisha na akupeleke kiwango cha juu. Mungu atakwambia angalia huko, nimekufungulia mlango tena kubwa. Wachana lee milango napitia kwa dirisha. Ile mlango mkubwa. Ile alifungulia Paulo. Kamwambia nimekufungulia mlango mkubwa. Na hakuna mtu anaweza kuzuia ingawa shetani atajaribu. Go through that door. And I want to say you can be blessed. I want to say you can go far and wide. Just listen carefully and change. Patesu makufi mazuri. Jeremiah says that they should seek the Lord if apply they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us. God is not far, he's right here. There are times I pray na stuka na skeni kama mtu amesimama karibu na mimi na nimefunga mlango na skeni kama mtu baadaye nafungua macho kuangalia kumbe ni Mungu presence ya Mungu Mungu ayuko mbali na sisi That presence is there Hapa nasema apply Hapa nasema they might feel after him you can feel after God And in, I want to say again you can feel after God wherever you are You can raise up your hands and open your mouth and expect God to touch your life God will tell you touch me Na unajua ukimguza Mungu your life will never be the same again. Maanike nasema it's not far from each one of us. It's not abroad. It's not in Germany. It's not in South Africa. It's not in West Africa. It's not in Asia. God is with you. Just seek him with all your heart. You will find him. Na ukimpata Mungu umepata baraka. Ukimpata Mungu umempata azina. Ukimpata Mungu umepata utajiri wa kweli. I want to say God is everything you need. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be done what added unto you make sure that you are affected by the presence of God What can make a difference in your life in my life in your family is the presence of God Now I want to assure you that is what we desire that's what we need the presence of God heals the presence of God delivers the presence of God changes lives the presence of God changes your mindset the presence of God helps you to stay focused in life the presence of God not the presence of people maana kuna watu ukiwa karibu na wao unasikia kukuazika kuna watu ukiwa karibu na wao unashindwa ni nini kumbe umeleta maraho Sioro mudero. Umeleta maroho. Unasikia ni kama umevunjika moyo ukiwa na wao. Hata ni hili wakati tulikuwa peke yako alikuwa anajetia moyo katika Bwana. Wakikaribia tu nakwambia hey, is this what we have been going through yes. Mungu na kusaidia. Hata wakwambi God is on the throne. You can make it. Maandike nasema in him we live. Sema in him we live. In him we move. And in him we have our being. So simple to the clear and the Bible is saying in him we live in him we move move in him we have our being dakika hii umekaa ndani ya Mungu dakika hivi lo umekaa hivi uko ndani ya Mungu anakueleva anakujua kilo napitia anakujua masaibu yako mema yako anakujua ndani yake tunaishi ndani yake tunatembea ndani yake tuko na maisha yetu kwa hivyo anza kujiona leo vita vyako unaenda kushindiwa Hakuna kitu napitia Mungu ajui. 
Hakuna kitu unapitia Mungu aoni. Na kuambia tabaka tu milano unawauza anajua every detail and I want to say he has an answer for you. And very soon is going to open a door for you. Very soon God is going to surprise you and say amen if you believe it. Amen. Shout a bigger man. Amen. Say a bigger man. Amen. Jeremiah said I'm a God at a hand says the Lord and not a God afar off. Mungu wetu ayuko mbali, yuko karibu. Hata daika yuko hapa, anataka tusaidie, anataka tuinue. Hallelujah. God is not a God we suffer off. Kwamba we shout him down and we shout him to come. It's right there where we are and he said very clearly is the God at hand. It's very important. Kama watoto wa Mungu tuanze ku realize the truth. Ukisoma okay, Biblia Mark chapter 5 kuna mtu alikuwa mwenda wazimu wa Gadarina. Alikuwa na mapepo 2000 legions. Alikuwa anakaa mustuni, anakaa mamilimani, anajikatakata na mawe. A sad, very sad story. Very sad. I don't know when you read that one how you feel. When I read this story of this man, the first story, the beginning, how it began and how he went through, you come on a sense of humor. Kama una moyo wa huruma utalia. Utasema kabisa kama kuna shida hii ndio shida. Yaani unatolewa nyumbani na mapepo tena na kanda ndani yako 2000 demons 2000 no two. Sio ile nane ya Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena alikuwa na nane. Hapa kuna 2000 legions 2000. Think about it. Ikamfanya Mzee Balzac Ikamfanya mzee muenda wazimu ile muenda wazimu kabisa tena anajikatakata tena anaenda juu ya mlima anakaa katikati ya makaburi he must have had a family he must have come from a place waandike na sema wanamfunga minyororo wanamfunga kamba na kata because the force within him could not be matched by the chains and the the the, the, the kamba zile alikuwa amefungwa i want to say jesus cares I want to say Jesus cares. I want to say again Jesus cares. When nobody cares what you are going through, Jesus cares. I wish believers support me in this church and say amen. Because some people sit in the church as if they just come to rest. Listen my friend, this is a sad story. Kama ungekuwa your brother, ungefanya nini? Ungempeleka mental institution. Ungempeleka mali apampiwe madaba. But look at this. And you listen my friend very careful because I am talking about some battles waachia Mungu. Nasema vita vingine waachia Mungu. Jesus akambia wanafunzi wake tuingie ndani ya mashua tuvuke ngambo. That's why I say Jesus cares about your family, Jesus cares about your children, Jesus cares about your tomorrow. When nobody knows what you are going through, Jesus knows what you are going through. And you say a bigger man. Amen. And you say a bigger man. Amen. And you say a bigger man. Amen. And you shout it louder. Amen. I say clap your hands and say Jesus is good. Amen. I am talking to somebody who is desperate. I am talking to somebody here who has been pushed to the corner. I am talking to somebody here who feels life has no meaning. Jesus is coming your way. I say Jesus is coming your way. Not your uncle, not your auntie, not your cousin, not your politician, but Jesus is coming your way. Jesus is coming your way. I am talking about the one who knows no impossibility. I am not I'm not talking about the failures and frustrated people who cannot give you an answer. I am talking about the one who knows you very well and who can help you the best. Amen. And Jesus is the best. Amen. I say Jesus is the best. Amen. If you have another best one muleta hapa tumuone. To me Jesus is the best. Yesu anaambia wanafunzi wake ingia mashua twende ngambo. Na hawajui kwa nini waingie mashua. Hawajui. Yesu akapigana na dhoruba Yes akapigana na mawimbi kwenda upande wa mwingine haikuwa rahisi lakini Jesus was determined to help that madman 
Jesus is determined to help your family. Jesus is determined to set you free. One day Jesus was determined to set me free. He got me. He got you. Jesus had to go through the storm to reach that person. Alikuwa na moyo wa uruma, compassion. If you can know Jesus I'm talking to you about, you can change from today. I say you can change your attitude from today. He knew exactly kuna mtu ameteseka, amejaribu kufungwa minyororo, amejaribu kufungwa nini, amejaribu kupigwa ma injection, lakini anateswa na mapepo 2000. Yes akajua what is impossible to them, it is possible to me. I will go and help him. And God will help you today. I say 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 God will help you today. Not tomorrow. Today, make up your mind. I say make up your mind. Umekua na shida wezi kutatuliba. Leo naweza. Uwa ugonjo utapona. Iyo pepo itatoka. Katika jina la Yesu. Ilo nilo jina liko juu ya majina. Majina mengine ni failure. Defeat completely. They will never make you help you. My Bible tells me. When Jesus came out of the boat. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes out of these scriptures, something happened. The Bible says, Yule mwenda wazimu, akamuona kutoka, mbali. Akamuona kutoka, na webe muona Yesu. Utabalilika muona Yesu. Utapona muona Yesu. Kwenu mutabalilika muona Yesu. Amo nataka kuona nani? Wapendwa muona Yesu. Mambe tabalilika. Muona Yesu kuzimu itahama. Muona Yesu mapepo 2,000 They will go to the pig. <laughs> they are not supposed to be in a man. They are supposed to be in the pigs. Alipotoka ndani ya mashua, mwenda wazima alimuona kutoka mbali na maandiko nasema akamkimbilia Yesu. Na wewe mkimbilie Yesu. Nasema na wewe mkimbilie utapona. Kimbilia Yesu utaokoka. Kimbilia Yesu malana itakuacha. Kimbilia Yesu mambo yake itakuwa shwari. Musaada ni kwa Bwana Yesu. Akamkimbilia Yesu na maandiko yanasema iwaachi hapo maandiko yanasema na akamwabudu. Akafanya nini? Akosimama kama bakwajo. Alimwabudu. That's what I say. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Regardless what has hit you, regardless of the problems you have, regardless of the challenges of life, just worship him and he will change your life. God is looking for worshipers. Not gossipers. Not church members. Gina wa mezoya kanisa sana. No wanda hata kuwashi pa wezi kuinama. Hawezi kupigia Yesu magoti. Wamuambie buwana ime kwa shida. Sijui nifanya nini. Kama muenda wazima alipiga magoti na yu mapepa yake yote. Na alipopiga magoti. Mapepa ilianza kuongea. Na sema shida zako zitaenda. Na zema siku za shita zako zitaenda. Na walimusi yesu usitutoe hapo tupeleke kuzimuni. Tupeleke mali pengine. Na yesa kasi ambia. Toka kwa huyu mtu ingia zile ngurume. Na zika toka. Na zika toka. Na zika toka. Na zika toka. Kila kiwezekana mwanadamu kwa mungi na wezekana. Ile hali meshindwa itatoka. Ile ya mugonjo meshindwa utatoka. Sema amen. Amen. I say God is going to touch you. I say God is going to deliver you. I say God is going to give you a miracle. I am talking to somebody here and out there. You need a miracle. Jesus is your miracle. Jesus will give you an answer. The demons came out of that man and the Bible says that man sat under the feet of Jesus with a sound mind. You are going to get a sound mind. You are going to get a sound mind. Shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. Akawa na akili timamu. Akanyoa ndevu eh. Zile ndevu ameweka za muenda wazima akanyoa. 
ile ile nywele ile nywele rasta amewacha ya mwenda mazimu akanyoa akavalishwa vizuri akakaa kwa miguu ya Yesu na baadaye akamwambia Yesu now i want to follow you na Yesu akamwambia enda nyumbani ambia watu mambo makubwa Mungu amekutendea and i want to say today when god does something for you tell others it is god who has done it give god the glory stand up and shout jesus shout up again and i want to say anything bothering you we drive it out in the name of jesus kama ni mapepo he amen kama ni maradhi he amen chochote kinakusumbua na kiambia kitoke katika jina la yesu and i want to say your freedom is here your miracle is here your salvation is here your destiny is here things are going to change in the name of jesus your life will never be the same again God told Joseph at the battle is not yours but God's. Na bebe nakwambia vita sio vyako, waachia Mungu. Huyo mzee amekusumbua, waachia Mungu. Watoto wamekusumbua, waachia Mungu. Maisha na kupatia changamoto, waachia Mungu. He knows how to handle the affairs of your life. Ile biashara itainuka. Nasema itaamuka. Mungu atasababisha samaki zote zije. Mungu atafanya muujizo sio wa kawaida. Nimekuja kukuambia vita vingine waachia Mungu. Nasema waachia Mungu. Joseph atakauliza hii vita ni ngumu tutafanyaje? Mtu wa Mungu akamwambia, "Hauhitaji kutifiana katika hii vita. Mungu amesema, tumia hii silaha. Enda mbele na, na wale wanaimba, sifu Bwana, Mungu atawatendea." Na ningependa kusema, vita ni vya Bwana, pia silaha ni ya anachagua. The battle belongs to God and even the weapons is the one who chooses them for you. For Joseph had ni weapon ya praise and worship. Wale wanaimba kabisa sio mchezo, so entertainers. The worshipers from the Holy Ghost and singers who knew Psalm 22:3 God dwells in the praises of his people. When they sang the presence of God came down. Na baadui wakapigana wenyewe wakamalizana and I want to say use every weapon to get victory. Amen. Pray is a weapon. Praise and worship is a vision. The word of God, yani ile Mungu anakuambia utumie tumia. Jangwani Yesu alitumia weapon ya neno. It is written. Until you know this, it becomes a problem. But I'm praying that God may help you. Mungu anamwambia you don't need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. And I want to say sio wakati wa kutetemeka. Sio wakati wa kuogopa. Sio wakati wa kusema twende wapi. Can we say amen? Hata wakati wa uchaguzi tunaenda. It's not even bother you. God is still in control. I say it's not even bother you. Wewe enda piga kura rudi nyumbani. Mwambie Bwana mapenzi yako yafanyike. As simple as that. We are about to see great things in our lives. And I want to say you stand still and see what a genuine believer does in panic. <laughs> Once you know the truth, the truth you know will do what? Na hii ndiye nakufanya aanze upumzike. Inakufanya unapumzika. Kama vita ni vya Bwana. Nimewauliza nana anachagua sila za vita. Ni wewe. <laughs> si ni yeye. Vita ni vyake na silaha ni anachagua. Kwa hivyo usijichagulie silaha. Hapana. Mwambie Bwana nitumie silaha gani hapa? Kwa Joshua aliambiwa silaha ndio hii. Kwa Musa akaambiwa silaha ndio hii. Kwa Joseph atakaambiwa silaha ndio hii. Na ningependa nikwambie leo. Mungu atakwambia what to do when you are in a dilemma. He will tell you use this weapon. Utaona adui amehama. Can we say amen? Kwa hivyo strategy na timing waachia Mungu. Hiyo siku sema tutakiana kufanya kitu kae chini. They had to do something. Walienda vitani lakini wakina na silaha za Bwana. Na wewe unatarajia mema. Fanya kitu. Chukua tu ya imani. Wanaweza sifii. Ana kwamba utafanya kitu lakini umechukua tu ya imani. Kama wale wenye ukoma wane, 
walisema kwa nini tukaa hapa na tufe tukiingia mjini kuna njaa watu wanakufa tukikaa hapa sisi already we are dead waja tuamuke twende kwa kambi ya washani wakituacha ni sawa wakituo already we are dead walipoinuka Mungu aliinuka na wewe ukiinuka Mungu atakuinukia utaanza kuona mabadiliko utaanza kuona upepo mbaya unahama na Roho Mtakatifu analeta upepo mzuri yale mambo ulikuwa nasema ni ngumu utaanza kuona Mungu akianza kukupigania kutakuwa na upepo wa Roho Mtakatifu unavuma hapo sema amina kwa hivyo simama imara na umtumaini Bwana na upendo wake uweze kuvunjika na Mungu ni mwaminifu sema Mungu ni mwaminifu sema tena sema tena sema tena Mungu ni nini na upendo wake hauishi ndio sawa tunaimba upendo wangu na Yesu tunapozungumza juu ya kuachia Mungu vita vyetu Mungu anasema ukweli ukiendelea kupigana vita vyako utashindwa na Mungu apate utukufu ukishindwa nataka kusema tena Mungu apate utukufu wakati umeshindwa especially if you are a believer and that's why he says some battles leave them to him ile umeshindwa kabisa na ndio sababu tumesoma juu ya Paulo na Sila wakiwa gerezani kuongeza na kupigwa kuongeza na kuteswa maandiko yanasema wakaleta tetemeko la nchi katika hiyo gereza walifanyaje waliamua kuimba waliamua kuomba waliamua kusifu hawa ni watu walieleba kabisa hii vita sio vyetu ni vita vya mwenyewe kazi yetu ni kumuinua kazi yetu ni kumwindimbia kazi yetu ni kumusifu wakati unaanza kueleba hivyo katika maisha utapata kukaa chini na kulaumu watu utakaoacha kukaa chini na kunungunika na kulalamika na kusema sijui nifanye nini a junior child of god haongeangi hivi kama kweli umefundishwa vizuri na unajua Yesu hauongei kushindwa unaongea ushindi hata kila unapitia unamwachia bwana na ndio sababu waliimba wakatingiza gereza joseph atwaliimba adui wakahama na baadaye wakachukua marupurupu na vile vitu vyote adui walikuwa nayo katika maisha Mungu anataka tuwe na kuwa na shindi tena zaidi ya washindi na ndio sababu ukiangalia hapa wana wa Israeli walimwachia Mungu awapiganie vita wakachagua Mungu akawachagulia sila zao na ile sila walipoitumia nataka nikuambie Josephat hawakurusha hata mkuu kimoja na ushindi walipata ni mkubwa sana wakachukua ile tunasema spoils for three days kutoa kwa uwanja wa vita yale shetani amepanga kukufanyia Mungu akikupigania utapata faida na baraka kutoka kwa hiyo vita hautatoka umefilisika hautatoka umedhoofika hautatoka umeshindwa God will help you bring victory in your life Amen. na utapata baraka nyingi watu walikuwa nafikiria umeshindwa na huko katika bonde wanaanza unatoka bonde na baraka wanaanza wanatoka bonde na ushindi kama vile Daudi alisema Psalm 40 to kwa shimo la haribifu na matope ya utelezi nikamngoja bwana nikamuita bwana na akanisikia na akanitoa na akaniweka miguu yangu juu ya mwamba na akanipa wimbo mpya wengi wataona huo wimbo na watamtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu kutoka leo amua your life will never bring shame to god kutoka leo amua maisha yako itamletea Mungu nini utukufu mpatie bwana makofi mazuri Kwa hivyo kwa uraisi tunasema kwamba vita sio vyako. Vita ni vya Mungu. Anza kumtumaini Bwana. Anza kumusifu Mungu kwa ajili ya ushindi wako. Maana hivi karibuni unaenda kushindiwa. Na kwa njia rahisi sana ki Mungu. Hata mahali umesimama, hata mahali umekaa, hata ndani ya nyumba yako, hata hapa kanisani, the moment to raise up your hands and say father, I commit this battle into your hands. It's no longer my battle, it is your battle and I thank you for the victory. Something will happen. Haichukui maombi marefu tena ya hatari. Inachukua imani yako kwa Mungu yule unamwamini. Wewe tu sema imani yako. Vita sio vyangu vita ni vya Bwana. Na umwambie Bwana wewe unajua mali nimesimama na kila ninapigana nacho. I cannot match it without you. Mpatie Mungu nafasi afanye kazi. 
Ndiyo sababu kiangalia Daudi wakati mji wa Zigila yulichomwa wake zao na watoto wakachukuliwa maandiko nasema wakati wanaume wanalia mpaka sauti zikakwisha kitu gani Daudi alifanya Daudi alirudi kwa Mungu kutafuta mwelekeo na mwongozo kama vile Joseph atarudi kwa Mungu kutafuta mwelekeo na mwongozo kama vile Ezekiel alikuwa kwa Mungu akitafuta mwelekeo na mwongozo mbona na wewe utafuti mwelekeo na mwongozo when you are in a problem Mbona unaambia wengine haraka sana hata kuliko Mungu? Hapa katafuta mwelekeo na mwongozo. And that's what I've come to tell you. King David sought for guidance and God told him, "Pursue, you shall recover all." Mungu akikuahidi kwamba fuatilia, utarudisha yote. Mungu atasababisha kile umepoteza, urudishe yote. Afya yako itarudi. Shamba yako itarudi. Anything you have ever lost in life involve God. He will make you recover all. Hivyo ndivyo anamwambia Daudi wakati alitafuta mwelekeo wake, maandiko yanasema akamwambia pursue and you shall recover all. And we are about to pursue and recover everything which we have ever lost because Jesus is our David. Atatusaidia kuleta yote. Utatumia muda kumuomba Mungu leo. Kama hujawahi kupiga magoti, kama hujawahi kuinua mkono, leo ndio siku. Kama hujawahi kusema Mungu leo ni leo, nataka nikwambie leo ndio leo. Kuwa kama shamga aliyekataa kushindwa, kuwa kama shamga aliyekataa kuondolewa kwa shamba yake, kwa kama shamga aliyekataa mavuno yake wa filis wazivune akachukua fimbo ya ngombe na akasimama akasema over my dead body na akasema imetosha enough is enough and that day god fought for him akarusha hiyo nini miti yake akaizungusha mpaka wa filis wanasikia ni kama nyuki zinatembea ngani when god is with you he will cause the atmosphere change i say he will cause the atmosphere change Yaani atabadilisha hali ya heba na muovu shetani na adui zako watasikia kelele isiyo ya kawaida kama wale wenye ukoma wane walisikia watu wanakuja na farasi nyingi na ni watu wane wana Mungu dare to start anything with God dare to take a step of faith your life will never be the same again Mungu atakupigania na atakushindania na atakusaidia na ningependa nikupe changamoto leo this is the day to recover all This is the day for God to fight your battles. Wacha kujipigania. Medali 16:7 inasemaje? When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Njia za mwenye haki zikimpendeza Mungu, anafanya hata adui zake wewe na mani na yeye. Ndio siku ya leo tungependa tuone Mungu akitushindia. Kushoto na kulia. Kama tunatumtumainia, atatupigania vita vyetu wakati wote na ndio sababu haijalishi kile unapitia ndugu na dada hata iwe kubwa namna gani god will fight for you sema mungu atanipigania <laughs> tunapaenda kuomba na kuzungumza na mungu sikiliza kila mungu anahitaji sasa keep an attitude of faith kwa na nia ya imani ajai kwa mungu amini kwamba mungu yuko kweli na Mungu yuko hapa na popote pale unanisikiliza have the attitude of faith like Ezekiah like Joseph like David like Paul and Silas like Peter all the men and women who received their miracles they had the attitude of faith for without faith it's impossible to please God even prayer should be a prayer of faith anything you do by faith God will honor it number two. Tulia stay calm. Tulia stand still. Na uwe na amani. Mbele za Mungu hauna wasiwasi. Mbele za Mungu hauna wasiwasi. Wewe tulia have the right attitude of faith. Usifanye mambo njia yako. Let God do things his own way to you. Wewe tu kwa mtiifu utaanza kuona Mungu siku ya leo. I want you to take time now to talk to God. Let's be very practical now. Go on your knees, talk to God. I say go on your knees, talk to God. It is time to tell our knees go down. Worship God.
everybody. And wherever you are, if you want to join us in bowing before the Lord, because God is about to do a new thing in, in your life, God is about to fight your battles. My friend, don't be afraid to kneel down. Jesus knelt before the Father. Many men and women who succeeded, they went down on their knees. Manige na sema Daniel yaomba manatatu akipiga magoti akifungua dirisha kwenda Jerusalem. When you bow yourself before the Lord and worship him, God will bless you. Waanze kumwabudu, waanze kumtukuza. Now take time before the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Father, we are before you today. Your children have humbled themselves. You have said humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. And you have said you are the one who can exalt and lift up your children. Today, Father, I've taught your children that the battle is not theirs. The battle belongs to thee. You know the battles they are fighting today, Father, here and out there. You know the families who are, who are in the battle. You know the men and women who are fighting battles they cannot win naturally without your help. Today, Father, we humble ourselves before you. Kuna watu wanapigana na visa. Kuna watu wanapigana na maradhi na magonjwa. Kuna watu wanapigana na uchumi katika maisha yao. Kuna watu wanapigana na nguvu zila wailevi. Baba, tunapiga magoti mbele zako. Tunasema vita sio vietu, vita ni vyako. Kama ezekaya, tunasema buwana utusaidie. Utusaidie na utupiganie. Utusaidie buwana. Kwa ujasiri, tunapiga magoti mbele zako. Na tunakuinulia mikono yetu, tunasema buwana utushugulikie. Bwana utopiganie katika jina la Yesu. Bwana tunakuita katika jina la Yesu. Vita sio vyetu bali vita ni vyako. Mungu wa mbinguni umechagua silaha hii nazi tunaenda chini ya miguu ye, ma, magoti yetu. Tumepiga magoti kwa unyenyekevu. E Bwana tumenyenyekea chini ya mikono yako dari. Tumekuja katika kiti cha neema. Tumekuja Bwana tunaomba utusamehe. Popote pale watu wako wamekukosea. E Mungu wa Samena leo wamekubali hapa na huko nje Bwana wanahitaji kukuona wanahitaji kukuona kwa boma zao wanahitaji kukuona kwa biashara yao wanahitaji kuwaona kwa kukuona katika maisha yao Bwana chochote kile wanapigana nacho leo Bwana shuka chini utopiganie shuka chini ukizambaratishe Baba tengeneza njia mali hakuna njia. Baba fungua milango katika jina la Yesu. Yesu na vifunguo vyote vya kuzimu na vya mauti na vya hapa duniani baba. Wewe unafungua milango ya ajabu. Fungua milango kwa watoto wetu. Fungua milango kwa marafiki zetu. Fungua milango kwa watakatifu wote. Bwana inua kanisa lako kutoka leo. Bwana tenda miujiza na maishara. Baba zambaratisha nguvu za giza. Baba zambaratisha nguvu za kuzimu. Adui anayekuja njia moja toroke njia saba. Kwa ujasiri na imara tunatulia. Tunajua kwamba vita sio vietu. Oh God of heaven, may you answer every prayer father. We have that attitude of faith. We are calm before your presence. We know you are fighting our battles from today. Things are changing from today. Darkness is being defeated in the name of Jesus you are going to give us strength to go through the troop of life and to climb over walls in the name of Jesus may your people recover all in the Mushaka Lalabakota recover financially recover materially recover in their businesses promote your children wherever they are open big doors for them Lord surprises are in order my father oh today we ask you to favor us to favor us because of Jesus, favor us because of your word. Oh God of heaven, oh God of heaven, wewe sio Mungu liye mbali, wewe ni Mungu liye karibu. Bwana guza watoto wako, guza watoto wako Bwana, waguze mili yao, guza akili zao, guza biashara zao, guza boma zao, kile kinaenda vibaya na kikemea Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Sababisha miujiza ya ajabu. Father, we worship you this time. We bow before you and we say you are holy. You are holy, you are holy. You are holy. There is no other God like you. You are the Lord our God who is there to help us, who is there to fight for us. The battle is not ours, but the battle is yours, Lord. We bow before you. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Father. And we decrease and you increase. And we declare that Jesus is the head of the church. Jesus is the head of our families. Oh, Lord. 
exp we want to experience the supernatural. We want to experience the miraculous, oh God. Oh Ramashi Kadola Makanda. Oh Ramashi Kadola Masoka. You are the great God, Jehovah. You are the great God of Israel. Oh Lord God Almighty. We are strong in thee and we, are, we have taken courage. We are not afraid. We know the Lord, you are on our side. Even to help us, even to fight for us. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Father, behold your children. Have humbled themselves like Hezekiah. Have humbled themselves like David. And the men and the women in the Bible who humbled themselves. Father, you came through for them. May you come through for your children. May you come through, through, your, through for your sons and daughters. May you come through for your servants. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that Jesus is Lord. Jesus, you are our intercessor. Jesus, you are our great high priest. You are our advocate, Jesus. We come to the throne of grace to find grace and mercy to help in times of need. Oh, we worship you, Father. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, my Father. Oh, Ramashi Karola Makata. Mutakatefu, Mutakatefu. Oli Kweko Lioko. Otakandelea Kweko. Pokea Sifa na Utukufu. Pokea na Heshi Mabuana. Webe ni Mungu na Jogo Pigania. Kanisa lako na batoto wako. Giza ishindwe Kuzimu na ishindwe Mambo mengma yanza kutendeka Katika jina la yesu Oh rababa shikado la makata Oh ya muso konda la makata You are might in battle You are the Lord who is might in battle You are might in battle my father Oh rama shikado la makata Let your children recover all Let your children recover all May you do good unto your children May you help us For you are the very present helper In times of need Hallelujah, Rima Shaka. We stand still. We want to see your salvation. We want to see your provision. Oh God of heaven, in Jesus' name. Mandike na sema mungu na pinga wenye kiburi. Na na wapa wenye nyeke vunema. Na wale watu wenye nyeke hapa na uko inje. Mungu wapa nema yake kutoka leo. Kama mtumishi wa Mungu natangaza uone neema ya Mungu kwa boma yako, uone neema ya Mungu katika maisha yako, uone neema ya Mungu katika biashara yako. Chochote kile unafanya uone neema ya Mungu. Na kwa sababu umenyenyekea Mungu ameona. Na Mungu ataanza kukutendea mema katika nchi ya bali hai. Mungu anaangalia moyo. Moyo umebondeka bondeka na moyo umetubu. Mungu hawezi kudharau. Wengine wanaweza kudharau lakini Mungu hawezi kudharau kutoka leo. God will not despise you. God will not despise you. Because you have humbled yourself before him. With a contrite heart. And a broken spirit. In the presence of God. <clears throat> Let us all stand before God and raise up your hands and just say thank you Lord. For you are fought my battles. You know mikono ju mushkuru buwana. Baba tunakuinulia mikono yetu Tumefanya mapenzi yako Tumenyenyekea Kama watoto wako mbele zako Na baba ninaomba sasa katika jina la yesu Tenda watoto wako mema Mio yao imenyenyekea Mio yao imenyenyekea Pigana vita vyao Wapiganie kushoto na kulia Watulie waono kiwashindia Mujini na mashambani Kwa boma zao na kwa mili yao. Asanti kwa upepo wa roma takatifu. Upepo wa roma takatifu. Umevuma katikati yetu. Umeondoa chochote kile kilikuwa kina tuzuilia. Kile kilikuwa kina tupinga. Upepo wa roma takatifu umeondoa. We thank you for the breeze of the Holy Spirit. We thank you because you have breathed upon our lives. And things will never be the same again. The breeze, the breeze of the Holy Spirit is in our midst. Yes. Father, we receive that breeze. Yes. Refresh us from today. Yes. Refresh your children. Yes. Refresh your servants. Yes. We thank you because the battle is not of us now. Yes. You are going to help us yes. and we are going to see your victory. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the King? No
Picture 